What's up, everybody? It's another week of uh, SR Synth Weekly. Um, I am, of course, your beautiful redneck. And uh, sorry about last week's uh, episode. We had a little hiccup with the export, so hopefully it won't happen again. So, uh, But this week, uh, I've got some really great n new music, and I've got some new uh, songs I haven't played before, new artists I haven't played, a couple I haven't played in a while. So we're going to jump right in and just get started. Uh, first up, we have Runaway Droid, and they're a great synthwave group out of, um, out of Hillsucky, Finland. I looked that up. Um, and the song they sent me today is called Reconfiguration. Now, Runaway Droid is just that, that great synthwave sound. So, you know, it's epitome of synthwave. So, so this just gave me a good feel. And I, and I kind of went with something a little weird just for this one. Um, this first vibe it gave me was kind of like a beginning stage of a video game. And what I mean by that, it's like that first, you know, that first, when you first walk into a stage and you've got that high, high pumping beat, high pumping, uh, you know, uh, you know, the whole feeling of, uh, you know, you've just started the game and it gives you that high energy, high energy vibe. So it kind of gives me like the main is walking into a stage area and, you know, it's like a first person and they walk through the stage and they're going through the stage, taking out the hordes that are coming at them and like just huge, uh, you know, huge, huge different levels. And each, and as the song progresses, the bad guys become even harder and harder to kill and more and more and, and worse and worse. And, you know, we keep seeing them change and it gets harder to do as the main is destroying them. That was the first vibe I got with it because it just gives me that vibe of running through a stage at, at high speed killing all the bad guys um, and just that high energy feel. Um, also kind of gives me on a second secondary note kind of feels like a, the main shows up to a scene and we see them the whole jumping out of the car deal, um, seeing the main evil. Uh, we then see the as the main song goes through the the main <clears throat> As the song progresses to the main part, we see the main and team shown racing through the area, to destroying and uh, destroying area and searching fight. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, they're destroying the hideout and you know destroying all the bad guys. And we've seen them going through, searching through to find the missing program, um, missing programs or items that the evil is hidden. Uh, as and as uh, the song goes through, we see them, you know. They're going through searching, you know, destroying the bad guys and trying to find all the programs, the items, whatever, um, as the main evil is just sending hordes out, uh, you know, to try to stop them. At the end, towards the slow part of the song, we finally see the main, the main character and the evil come face to face before the main battle starts, which starts another song. Um, both give me that feel. Uh, it actually could be the same thing. Uh, you know, it could be a game or, you know, they're both searching through. But it, it's just... A, high energy vibe is what it gives me so uh, check this out it's a really good song and make sure you follow them all and uh, here it is it's a uh, runaway droid and the song is called reconfiguration
Next up today we have uh, Demi K. I hope I say that right. Um, D M D I M I. So I, I'm going to go with Demi. Um, great synth group. Uh, great, you know, guitar group. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are asking me, you know, you know, if it, if it's a, if you are synth S R Synth Weekly, why is there a lot of guitar tunes in it? Uh, because synth guitars, you know, synth and guitars kind of go together, you know, hand in hand. And a lot of songs use a mix together. And this is a great, uh, great uh, addition to that. So. This song, the song they sent me today is um, Not Holding Back. Uh, this is actually the title song of their album. It's called Not Holding Back. Um, really great album. Uh, I have it. They were kind enough to let me, let me hear it all. And I definitely, definitely check it out. It's really good. Uh, but this one just gives me a vibe. Uh, Not Holding Back gives me a vibe of training montage. And what I mean by that, it's like we've seen those movies where, you know, the main is uh, training to get ready. We see the main training, you know, they're facing, <clears throat> training to face like this bad guy of the movie, you know, where whether they were injured uh, at the beginning of the movie or they've, you know, they're seeking revenge for like a lost loved one that got injured or, you know, are killed. And we, you know, they're seeking revenge one way or another uh, against this, against this bad guy. And we see them, you know, doing this whole running through full training sequences, you know, learning new uh, inner powers that they had or, uh, you know, they're training to fight. A different way to beat the bad guy and they're recouping you know they're relearning or recouping fighting styles in the training and as we see this training session going on we see the memories of what's going on and it's making them want to have this kind of revenge and 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 why they're also focused on it so we then see them going through each you know each trial in their mind or you know of this training montage with ease to get ready for the final battle that was the main vibe I got from it, but it also gives me a second vibe of like, I, the team is rushing through the streets to the final con conf confrontation. Uh, and what am I that? We get, you know, we get that whole, they've gotten ready. We see each member, you know, getting ready and they're rushing through the streets to go uh, fight the bad guy for the final time. And at this time we see that each member is focused on the task at hand as the main is heading to the location. Uh, they arrive and get ready for the battle. Each member starts to move um, to their foe. You know, that's like a like a group versus group. And, you know, each member has their own uh, bad guy to take care of. And they head to their phone. Uh, they need to beat, you know, it's human or machine. And then they take out all the minions, uh, all the mini, you know, each, each secondary member or secondary character is taking out all the bad guys. And then we get the final... Then we get to the final evil where the main and the uh, evil uh, that rule over everything uh, finally get to face to face. And that's where the song kind of progresses. I kind of like both. Uh, I like the training montage, kind of like Bloodsport training montage. You know, this kind of gives me that feel. So uh, check it out. It's really good song, really good edge of, you know, really high energy song. So definitely check it out and check out the rest of the album. Uh, so here it is. It's uh, Demi K. And the song is called Not Holding Back.
Next up today we have, uh, I'm going to screw this name up. I'm going to go with the name is called Mad. Um, if you look at the description, it's M underscore A uh, period D. So I'm going to go with Mad. So I don't know. I've known him a while and I keep forgetting to ask how to pronounce it. Uh, the song, it's a really, they're a really good cyber wave hop group. Um, you know, they miss a little everything. And the song they sent me today is called Hiding from This Party. Uh, the description they sent me kind of, it's kind of like all over the place. Um, it's kind of like loathing a party for, and hiding in the bathroom. Uh, and then you don't tell your friends inside your brain. Uh, it's just kind of one of those, you know, they, they're at the party but hiding in the bathroom kind of feel. So I don't know. I think that's what they're going for. Uh, if not, fix it. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, I kind of went with a little different, you know, not hiding from a party deal, but more of a, you know, drug-induced coma deal. And, I, and what I mean by that is, like, the main is just taking a new form of a future drug. Um, and we see them moving through the new sights and sounds of this world as it's taking effect. Um, as they're on this new drug, the world seems like it's slowing down and all the memories that they've had and are starting to pierce through uh with faces changing and the lights and the sounds all changing and this is all sudden again it's giving them weird moods and memories of faces that they don't remember or um people that should be that isn't there anymore uh, i'm sorry that the people that should be fa one face is a different face um just gives them this whole like complete psychedelic vibe of you know lights sounds you know memories all at once um that's kind of kind of the first vibe it gives me it also gives me a like a feel uh, we've seen the main walks into an area that seems to be reversing, uh, but still, but he's still able to move forward. And what I mean by that, it's like one of those haunted houses where you've been into, or a haunted area that's dimensionally challenged, or, you know, it has a, has a dimensional shift in it to where we see, um, you know, like the echoes of everything, you know, we've seen time going forward and backward, all at once, all in this one room while the, while the main character is still able to move forward. And this haunted room is kind of showing people moving in reverse and suddenly move forward while the rest of the scenery uh, seems to melt, you know, kind of like melt in the background. And then we get this whole, then it returns in a blur. Um, as the main is moving around this room, the people are unfazed by the shifting time and don't even realize it's happening. They just think it's normal for them. And this kind of, until the main can escape the room. Um, that's kind of what it gives me. It kind of, it could be both on the same thing. It could be, you know, drug induced while walking through this room. Uh, but that's just kind of vibe gives me, just kind of gives me that, you know, psychedelic kind of like low vibe, you know, low, you know, uh, you know, new light sound vibe. So check it out. It's really good. Um, I like it. It's, it's a really good song. So definitely check it out. Like I said, I'm going to go with the name of Mad and the song is called Hiding from This Party.
For our next selection, we have, um, I'm going to screw up your name, and, I, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time. Um, it's, uh, it's Adiv, I'm going to go with that, or Adiv Williams. And the song they sent me today is called Citrus Punch. Uh, Adiv, uh, like I said, I apologize. Adiv is a techno house pop uh, group out of Tijuana, and this song is really cool. It's called Citrus Punch. And this gives me a lot of, you know, little vibes, a little everything. So, but I kind of went with, you know, the main and the team are searching through the city for a technophile. And what I mean by technophile is like this, someone who's, who's enhanced and can become anything, uh, kind of like a shapeshifter, but they're more machine than, you know, it's all done by technology. And anyway, this technophile has escaped. We see them moving throughout the streets and in markets, you know, everybody has a market nowadays in the future, in the future world. And... We see them mark, searching for clues and checking checking scans to see anybody to find out anyone who's not human. Um, all the while, the technophile is hiding, assuming different faces, trying to evade the entire squad. You know, we get that whole feel of you know split screen. We get uh, the main character. You know, the main hunters are looking for the technophile, and they're assuming inter, you know they're trying to be one step ahead. And it kind of gives that whole vibe of you know the whole montage of them searching and running. Um, also, second one gives me a. It's kind of on this. It could be on the same boat, but uh, on the same movie. But it's like I used uh, scientists and teams are working to save the main character after an accident. Um, we see them using the new technology that they're use. You know, the scientists have come up with to change them into like a hybrid cyborg um, and enhanced. We see we see the team working on it and on getting the programming and parts attached and the whole like montage. And then we see the main wake up from it. Uh, you know, wake up and all these new enhancements. Um, as the song as the song progresses, we get this whole montage of them continuing, of the main you know, learning how to use the how to use the new body, how to you know how their minds work and how and as the scientist is explaining how everything's going on, and you know we see this whole montage of them you know coming through, learning how to use it and becoming one with this new enhancement they got. Um, like I said, it could work on both. It could work on the same movie. It just uh, you know, this both vibes kind of click together. So definitely check it out. Um, really good song. And like I said, I apologize again. It's a, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go with Adiv Williams, and the song is called Citrus Punch.
Next on the show, we have our good friend, uh, Dark Side of Synth. I can pronounce that one right. So, um, <laughs> um, as, as we all know, if, you, if you've been on the show before, they are a electronic music of uh, pretty much every kind. They, they kind of dabble in everything. And the song they sent me today is called Secret Master Plan. And it's a really good song. They, they described it as what they did with it. Is they, they, it's a track inspired by the episode of Stranger Things 3. It's a weird way in between something dark, mysterious, ominous, and something up, but it's something upbeat at the same time. A sci-fi alien conspiracy setting in, is what he had in mind. That's what he says. Um, I kind of, I like, I like the whole, the whole setting like that, and I kind of got what he meant by it's kind of dark and ominous, but upbeat at the same time. And he, he nailed, and, and uh, Dark Side nailed that perfectly. And what I mean by that is kind of like. Uh, it, when you hear the song, you got this whole b dark, moody background with some upbeat, uh, you know, an upbeat. Uh, while the dark, while the dark background is playing, you got an upbeat uh, melody going on, and it's just it, it, it. They were able to mold that perfectly, so, so I kind of went with this in a, in a little way of it. Kind of worked. Uh, the team is walking into a final battle, and we're, and, you know, they're confident, assured. They have all the tools and and the friendship to beat the evil. Um, I kind of went with the Stranger Things thing, you know, they're all together, they know how to, you know, they're going into that final battle and they know, they know that together they can get it all together so they're confident to beat this evil. Um, with the darkness surrounding, around them and the raging evil, the team um, are walking in with, without worry and happy to be together for this, for this battle as they know it will happen, um, as they know they, they can beat it together. Um, as the quiet part of the song, um, we see the evil show up with their group, you know, with the, you know, every evil has like a minion horde. And, and here's where the battle begins for their freedom. And that's how the song progresses. Kind of gives me that feel. I, it just kind of gives me that, you know, there's darkness all around them. And the, the team, though, is confident and, you know, knowing that together they can be, you know, they can beat this evil. So, you know, you get the, like I said, the darkness around them and then you get the upbeat feel of the team knowing that they can beat them so that's that's the main feel i got with that um also the kind of i went kind of went with a little uh the darkness of surrounding a secondary character you know uh you know it's a group the team that was uh you know they're kind of secondary to the main and as they think it's the worst is about to happen they they hear from the distance the main starting taking out evil like you've seen it in before you know there's a darkened group behind surrounding this secondary group and then all of a sudden now the blue the main character comes and starts saving the day and as <clears throat> sorry as the song progresses uh, right before right before the main part of the song the main is seen showing up to the group uh they are all then freed as the main character is giving them weapons uh to assist in the fight to get out of the area and take out the evil um as a quiet part as the quiet part happens in the song we see them now prepared uh, to get out of the dungeon area, and then as the song comes back in, um, we see the calmness while the evil is lurking. They're just taking out the area, and it's kind of calm. They know they can get out, uh, but the, the the darkness is still around them before them, but they know that together they can take out the evil. Like I said, it kind of works on both. Uh, it kind of can work on both, uh, you know, songs as one movie, but just both vibes give me that, so... Um, like I said, it, it, it's a really good song and it, it melds really, to get, really well together. So uh, here it is. Definitely check out the rest of their stuff because all the music's really good. But so check it out. It's a, it's a Dark Side of Synth, and the song is called Secret Master Plan. Thank you. 
Next group we have today, uh, we have from Apes to Angels. Uh, really good, <clears throat> sorry, really good synthwave group out of the UK. Uh, first time I got to play them, so it's it's really it's really cool to be able to uh, listen to a lot of different music. But this one's really cool. Uh, um, the song they sent me today is called. This is the radio edit for a song called Motorway, and this just gives me a lot of good vibes. You know what a good synth synthwave. You know. Uh, Miami synthwave outrun sound just sounds like so I got I got a whole vibe of you know just happy you know getting this is where we get the expedition of the group so uh, so I went with the the group is having an outing in which they uh, they're out and about having a great time together while we get an exposition of uh, who are the main characters you know we got the whole group together but we're kind of getting an exposition while the song is going on of who who each group member is and their names and everything um, we see them riding through the city, you know, doing the normal things they do, um, went together, enjoying the day, uh, right before the main story. It basically just gives us that whole exposition of what they are, who they are, you know, kind of whole background story of them before the main story hits. That kind of gives me that first, first vibe, you know, it's just happy to go, you know, happy to be together, you know, that kind of deal. Uh, also kind of gives me that main and the lover have been kind of together through the whole movie, but then they finally realize as the movie ends that they're meant to be together. And and towards the end of the movie, they finally realize that they're, they've come together, they've realized they're supposed to be together. We see them looking in each other, you know, 
enjoying each other's vibe and they realize it, that they're uh, meant to be together. Uh, the others, as they, as they start to get together and everything, and as they get together and realize this, the others uh, in the group are shocked that they would choose each other uh, over the other ones uh, that, they, that, the group, that the other group thinks they should be. And, you know, it just kind of gives them that whole shock of, you know, two people who shouldn't be together are together. So, and then as the song, you know, progresses, we see them walking off together in, in harmony, you know, with embracing each other as that main story ends. We get that full outro feel or uh, right before the main climax it could work. So we, you know, uh, we get that whole feeling of, you know, togetherness of these two. So the main story of this song is of those two coming together. So that's, that's just kind of feel I got it. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, uh, I kind of feel both of those at the same time. It could work on both levels of the same movie. But uh, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments. As always, um, if you like the song, you know, follow their stuff, follow everybody's stuff, and, you know, follow them on their platforms, buy their music. So definitely check this out. It's really good. It's, uh, again, the, song, the group is called From Apes to Angels, and the song is called Motorway. Hey, if you like this, uh, if you like the music so far, um, check out the rest of my music uh, and other shows. And also, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps the helps grow the channel. It helps uh, get these get these artists and uh, get these artists some more exposure. And you know, just helps everybody. Uh, make sure you follow them. As I always put, I always put in the description uh, down below. You have uh, all their all their platforms for their social sites and everything, and their websites. 
So definitely check out the rest of the, uh, you know, check out all the artists' uh, websites and platforms, and make sure you follow them. Uh, and there's just, it just helps them, helps, helps the whole uh, music, and gives you some more music of theirs. Just to help, you know, helps you enjoy more music and helps them grow. Uh, so definitely check out their stuff and make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, last today, uh, we have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the name is Sheaf. Uh, I, it may be Sheaf, but I'm, you know, like I said, I cannot pronounce anything properly. So I'm going to go with Sheaf, and it, they're a synthwave group out of the Netherlands. Um, the song they sent me today is called Anything. And it didn't give me a description on it, so it kind of gives me a lot of opening with. Uh, but this song is just one of those, what I call a loner song. And what I mean that is, like, the main is a loner in a movie. You know, they're off searching. They're kind of like a detective, private investigator, to kind of that feel. And they're off searching for, for the reason to be, um, you know, they're, they're kind of trying to figure out who they are while they're working in the newest case. Um, we see them traveling through the city. You know, they're checking leads. And while, and while they're checking leads, they get all this feeling of loneliness of, of the life they live. Um, we've seen those before, you know, like, like while, uh, you know, the detective out, is out there running, trying to figure out what's going on, uh, you know, searching for clues, you know, we get this whole internal, internal monologue of trying to figure out who they are and internally trying to figure out why there's, why there's meant to be alone. Kind of gives me that feel. And at each, at each, um, at each passing moment, which we, we then see them seeing in every corner Every street, you know, every little nook and cranny, they see the, they see the reason of the one that they've lost. Is, you know, we've seen this whole deal where they have a memory pop up and it's like this, someone's alive. And each passing moment as the main is searching, they cannot remove the past, which is making their job harder. So as they're searching through this main, you know, the main character, you know, the main storyline, uh, the secondary storyline of, you know, of their past is haunting them, making you know, making the, you know, the making the search for, you know, whatever is, or making their job a little harder. Kind of gives me that vibe. It's just that loner searching for, you know, a way out kind of feel. Um, also, on the same note, it kind of gives me that the main's, the main's lover was missing and thought to be dead. And, but we, you know, throughout the story, we, th we thought they were, you know, the main character's lover was dead. And we see them on, we see the main make it to the hideout of the evil. He was supposed to get revenge, only to find out the lover is there and has been being held captive the whole time. Uh, the main shows up to the lover, and they realize they haven't been together in a while, and that they both thought each other was dead. And we get this whole shock, you know, feel um, as the lover is, you know, being rescued. And then the main is now relieved that they are safe, but then, but then must. Uh, leave the lover to face the final evil uh the team has gone in you know they've had this you know they've realized that they're together uh you know that that they are both alive each each side's alive and you know the lover's been rescued uh but now the lover but now the main character has to leave to fight the evil and has to has to once again be alone to you know the rest of the team takes the takes the lover away and they have to go fight the evil alone and as the main moves on, the phase is forever ingrained that loneliness will always happen. What I mean by that is like, um, as the lover is being taken away and the team's gone, and he and the main characters are gone to face the evil, they know that they maybe end up uh, lonely forever, uh, or the lover may never see them again. It's kind of, so it kind of gives me that whole vibe. It's, it could be one whole movie, but uh, it just kind of gives me that feeling of the loneliness, searching for who they are, searching for the lost loved one. So, like I said, it's a really good song, and um, if let me know what you think in the, in the comments of what you think of this, uh, what kind of vibe you get on this song. So, uh, last up today, it's a really good song, so definitely check it out. It's uh, Sheaf, and the song is called Anything.
that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the music. Uh, my descriptions may not have been that great this week, but I uh, hope you enjoyed my, my little narrative here. And uh, the whole thing is about the music, and I hope everybody, you know, if you like the music, go follow their websites, go follow their platforms, you know, go buy their music and everything else, because, you know, that's, that's what we're here for, as always. Uh, you know, just make sure you enjoy the music and make sure you enjoy the artist. I'm just a redneck showing it to you <laughs> and giving my, my little vibes on it. So uh, if you like it and if you're new, uh, you know, like I said uh, earlier, please like and please think about liking and subscribing. It uh, helps this channel grow. Also, um, if you're an artist and you're, and you're on this show and you haven't and, and you want to join my show, it's really simple. Uh, down below, you'll see there's a submit form. Uh, you could just fill it out and, you know, submit your music. Um, I don't I don't charge. I know a lot of I lo know a lot of groups that do. Um, I, I will never charge for your music. Um, the only thing I ask is, is you know just allow me to play it. That's that's it. Um, it doesn't always it doesn't always have to be synth music. Um, if it's got if it's got a good sound and everything, I don't care. I'll play it. So if you're if you're an artist and you want to and you want to submit to it, please feel free. Just you know just submit down below at the form. Um, but anyway, I hope everybody has a great week. Uh, as it's starting to get colder here where I am, uh, we've, we've skipped fall. We're already in winter, so I don't know what happened there. So, But I hope everybody stays warm, stays cold, you know, whatever. Have a great week, and I'll see everybody next week. Have a great one. Bye.